it's a little bit cheeky. I want to start with a little tale that I've heard about Robin Burns. I can't swear that it's absolutely true, um, but allegedly Robert Burns found himself ambushed, robbed of his money and possessions, um, took himself into a local hostelry and made use of their facilities and their good services, ate and drank his fill and then had to admit to the landlord that he was unable to settle the bill and wondered whether an IOU uh, would be appropriate. The landlord in the face of the eminent Scots writer of his day, um, slightly embarrassed, doesn't want to take money that he hasn't gotten, number one. Um, but number two came up with this idea, uh, he's got an opportunity, he fancies himself a rhymer himself. And he said, I'll give you a competition, and if you can beat me in a rhyme, and I'm going to set for you in a minute, you're going to have to make it up as you go along. If you can beat me in a rhyme, um, then the meal's free. The landlord stood up and he said, I walked out across the sands, and a ship sailed by to foreign lands. The ship, the captain, and the crew were sailing home to Timbuktu. And then said to Robert Burns, and your poem has to finish with Timbuktu. So Robert Burns stood to his feet, and he said, As Tim and I are walking round, we spied some lasses in a tent. They were three and we were two. So I bought one and ten bought two. <laughs>